hello and welcome guys welcome to crack Suede youtube channel and today in this video i will show you how can you install pitch black recovery on your xiaomi redmi note 5 pro and first of all let us understand what is pitch black recovery and why it is important than twrp recovery well pitch black recovery is a custom recovery like twrp recovery but well better than twrp recovery because it has many features than twrp recovery and let's answer the question of why should you install pitch black recovery instead of twrp recovery well as you know that if you install any custom recovery on your phone then you cannot install ota update on your phone same thing happens with twrp recovery if you are in twrp recovery then you cannot install any ota updates but in pitch black recovery you can install ota updates on your phone there is new feature on pitch black recovery so that you will be able to install ota updates on your phone pitch black recovery has lots of features modification and you can do lots of customization on pitch black recovery so you should install pitch black recovery instead of twrp recovery on your phone and that's why pitch black recovery is important than twrp recovery hope you understand this now let's install pitch black recovery on our phone so let's start the process First of all, I will show you that my phone is not rooted and as you can see here, my phone is not rooted here and I will show you that camera to API is not enabled in my phone here. So as you can see here, I will open manual camera and click on start. Everything is crossed here. That means camera to API is not enabled here. So later in this video, I'm going to root my phone and I'm going to enable camera to API with the help of peace black recovery. So make sure you watch the full video. And I'm going to show you I haven't installed any custom recovery on my phone yet. I'm in stock recovery right now. So I'm going to switch off my phone and I will press power button and volume up button to go to my recovery mode. And you can see here I'm in stock recovery right now. I haven't installed any custom recovery yet in my phone. And I will reboot my phone here. And then I will show you the process of installing Peace Black Recovery on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. So phone is booted completely here. So now you have to power off your phone and then you have to go to the fast boot mode. And to go to the fast boot mode, what you have to do, you have to just press power button and volume down button simultaneously for about 5 seconds. And then you will be redirected to the fast boot mode. As you can see here, we are in fast boot mode right now. And now connect your phone to the computer with the help of data cable. And now phone is connected. Now we have to go to our computer. So let's go to the computer. So we are in computer right now and you have to download three files from the description below. The first one is ADV driver. The second one is Peach Black recovery zip file. And the third one is lazy flasher zip file. I'll provide their link on the description below so that you can easily download these three files from the description below. So first of all, let us install ADV driver. Our dialog box will appear. Press Y and hit enter. Press Y and hit enter again. Press Y and hit enter. And click on next and click on finish. And ADB driver is finally installed on your computer. Now you have to extract the pitch black zip file. So simply extract with the help of any extractor. I am using WinRAR extractor here. So it is extracted here. Now open the extracted folder. And then click on TWRP folder and open it. Then copy this recovery image file and go to computer and go to your C drive and you will see our ADB folder here. So simply open it and then you have to paste this recovery file here. Simply paste it and click on this little box here and type cmd and hit enter button here you have to type some commands and our first command is fastboot space devices and hit enter button and then some numbers will shown here that means your phone is connected with the computer in fastboot mode and now you have to type second command which is fastboot Give one space, P O O T boot, give one space again, and then you have to drive this recovery file from the ADB folder 
to this CMD. Simply drag it and hit enter button. And then you will see your phone will reboot here and will redirect to the pitch black recovery mode. And remember we have now just only booted the pitch black recovery on our phone in order to install this pitch black permanently we have to flash from the pitch black recovery mode and I will show you how to do this. Now your internal storage will shown here on your computer. So open your internal storage here you can see Redmi Note 5 Pro. So simply open it and open your internal storage. Here you have to paste the pitch black recovery zip file that you have downloaded. So simply copy it and paste on your internal storage. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure you have subscribed to our Cracksoid YouTube channel. Okay, then you have to copy another zip file and that is lazy flasher zip file. As you can see here, this is our lazy flasher zip file. You have to copy it and paste on your internal storage. So these are the two files. And now our work in computer is done. Now let's go to our mobile phone. So we are in mobile now. Now you can remove the data cable. And here you can see we are in pitch black recovery right now. And this is what pitch black recovery looks like. And click on this install button. And search for the pitch black zip file that you have copied on your mobile phone. Scroll down and you will see pitch black recovery zip file. So simply click on it and swipe. And this will permanently install pitch black recovery on your phone. And then your phone will boot to recovery mode. And then you have to click on the install button again. And then select the lazy flasher zip file that you have copied on your phone. So here it is lazy flasher zip file. So simply click on it and swipe. Lazy flasher will protect your pitch black recovery to stay on recovery mode forever. Otherwise if you did not flash lazy flasher then on the next boot your pitch black recovery will be removed automatically. So it is important to flash lazy flasher zip file. And flashing process completed click on wipe cache delphic and swipe. Go back. And now let's root and enable camera to API on our phone. So to do this, you have to go to the advanced setting. So simply click on advanced and click on additional and then click on tools. And you can see here, there are lots of features available here. You can root your phone from super SU, magis, and you can enable camera to API. You can even delete your system application and there are lots of other features also. You can root from Super SU also, but I will suggest you to root from the Magisk. So simply click on Magisk to root your phone. And then swipe to confirm. And this will completely root our phone. And flashing process completed. Now go back. Go back again. And now to enable camera to API, go to advanced again. Go to additional. Go to tools and click on camera to API enabler and swipe and this will enable camera to API on your phone and flashing process completed now go back again and I will also show you here how to delete unwanted system application from your phone using pitch black recovery for this you have to click on advanced and click on additional click on tools and then click on app delete Click on it and swipe to confirm and then click on next. You must agree first of all. So click on this agree button and click on next and select the unwanted system application that you want to install and tick on it and then click on next and click on install now and that will install your all system application that you have selected. Install process completed. Now click on next button and click on finish button to reboot your phone. 
but i'm not going to reboot my phone right now because i have to tell you something very important right now so i'm in peace black recovery again and as i have told you earlier that you can install ota updates in this recovery so to get the ota updates you have to do simple one settings so now i will tell you what is that setting and how to enable that setting so for this you have to go to the advanced so simply click on advanced and then you have to click on additional so simply click on additional and then you have to click on special and then click on setting ota click on it and here you have to check that either all of them are enabled or not if somehow uh, one of them is not enabled so then you have to click on it and make them enable so in this way you can enable all of them so if you enable this all of them then you can install ota on this recovery so this is the one setting that i wanted to tell you and at last flash the lazy flasher zip file again and reboot your phone click on install and then select the lazy flasher zip file that you have downloaded and click on it and swipe to confirm flash we don't want to take any kind of risk because if we did not flash lazy flasher then peace black recovery might be removed from our phone now click on reboot system then your phone will reboot here and finally we have installed peace black recovery on our phone also we have rooted our phone as well as we have enabled camera to api on our phone now without wasting time let's check either our phone is rooted or not and as you can see here our phone is rooted here congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so phone is rooted and now let's check either camera to api is enabled or not and all the green signals show that camera to api is enabled on our phone and now you just have to install google pixel camera on your phone and you can enjoy google pixel camera on your phone and at last now check either peace black recovery is still on our phone or it is removed from our phone for this we have to switch off our phone and we have to press power button and volume up button to go to the recovery mode as you can see here the logo of peace black recovery that means peace black recovery is still on our phone and we have successfully installed peace black recovery on our phone as well as rooted and enabled camera to api on our xiaomi redmi note 5 pro and that's it all about the peace black recovery and hope you understand what peace black recovery is and how to install peace black recovery on your phone and it is really hard to make this kind of video guys so please thumbs up hit that like button and comment below your queries and your suggestions and guys please don't forget to share this video as much as you can and guys please don't forget to subscribe to our crack sweat youtube channel and hit that notification bell so thank you for watching guys see you in my next video okay bye